guys! Welcome to Mama's Boys! In this program, we will meet priests from around the globe. We will discuss interesting features of their lives, from their humble beginnings, their calling, the churches, and more. For today's episode of Mama's Boys, we will feature a Kapampangan Bishop. From the Diocese of San Jose and Nueva Ecija, join us as we get to know more about Most Reverend Roberto Calara Malyari. Hello Bishop, uh, thank you so much for this interview po. Uh, kindly tell us something about yourself po Bishop. So, good morning Karen. Uh, I am uh... Bishop Roberto Maliari of the Diocese of San Jose and I was born in Santol, Pampanga. I studied my uh, elementary school in uh, uh, Masantol uh, public school uh, and I entered the seminary when I was uh, 12 years old in the mm. uh, Mother of Good Counsel Seminary. And uh, then I, I left for one year and I had a regency. I studied in UST, mm. Arts and Letters. And from there, uh, after a year, I went back to the seminary, San Carlos Seminary. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I completed my uh, philosophy in uh, San Carlos and then theology. Mm. And Bishop, you said a while ago that you entered the seminary at the age of 12. Yeah. Uh, how come at the very young age you entered at the seminary? Yeah, I, I would say uh, it was a calling, mm-hmm. but it was... Uh, through a catechist who was teaching us uh, and uh, once uh, she told us that if we enter the seminary and become priests, uh, our parents will go to heaven. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe I wanted so much my parents to go to heaven. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why as soon as I got home, I told my parents that I wanted to become a priest. Oh. And I think I was then uh, grade four. And uh, then I forget, I I forgot all about it. And uh, but my parents kept kept it in their hearts. And mm-hmm. <laughs> when I graduated grade six, they uh, uh, requested an appointment with Archbishop Pasano Aniceto, mm-hmm. who was then our rector in uh, in the seminary. And uh, and then, yeah, during the Fiesta of San Miguel, uh, uh, where uh, uh, he was invited uh, for, for the Fiesta, so in one of the houses there in Mazantol, and uh, then he asked me why I wanted to become a priest, <laughs> and then I told him, uh, because I want my parents to go to heaven. Wow. <laughs> But uh, Bishop, uh, who are your inspirations in entering the seminary and entering as a priest and also a bishop? Yes, uh, actually, I, I I don't remember anybody. But but that experience mm-hmm. uh, really uh, it was that experience that uh, inspired me to become uh, a priest. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so after uh, grade six, I went to the seminary. And mm-hmm. I, at first, I was afraid because I, di- I didn't realize I had to, to take an entrance exam. Mm-hmm. 
but uh, uh, good enough, I was able to pass the entrance exam. Mm -hmm. uh, Bishop, how many years have you been in the ministry? In the ministry, I think I will uh, be 39 years wow. in the ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was ordained in 1982, mm -hmm. uh, so 2021, so it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's 39 years in the ministry. Mm -hmm. What were your previous assignments for Bishop? Yes, I was in in the seminary, uh, Mother of Good Counsel Seminary. Uh, as soon as I was ordained, I was assigned in a parish uh, in uh, uh, Kalulut, mm -hmm. uh, St. Vincent Ferrer. But only for six months. Mm -hmm. After six months, I was uh, assigned in the seminary as spiritual director of the high school department. Then, after two years, I was transferred to the to the uh, philosophy department. Mm -hmm. uh, I was also uh, two years there mm -hmm. as spiritual director, and then uh, I. Uh, applied for a sabbatical leave mm -hmm. and then I volunteered in the preschool of Asia in, uh, in Tagaytay. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you heard about the Focolare movement. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a school there uh, for uh, communitarian spirituality so mm -hmm. I was uh, assigned uh, there to, to help mm -hmm. uh, to, and also to establish communion among diocese and priests and uh, to make an experience of communion among mm -hmm. us. Pardon me for asking, Bishop, but mm -hmm. uh, why did you uh, come up with uh, uh, applying for a sabbatical leave? And what is sabbatical yeah. leave for yeah. Bishop? Uh, for our viewers' yeah. sake. <laughs> Usually, uh, it's uh, just like Sabbath, no? Mm -hmm. Sabbath. <laughs> it's a day of rest. So mm -hmm. it's. Uh, and the truth was, I. Uh, I thought God was calling me to become a religious. I. Uh, I was inspired by Francis of Assisi, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, really uh, uh, gave everything to God. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I live uh, a poor life, so I wanted to to be like him, not to, mm -hmm. to live a radical life. So uh, it was the reason I wanted to discern and and uh, then see whether the Lord is really uh, asking me to to be a Franciscan. Mm -hmm. But then uh, living in Tagaytay. I understood that the the Focolati movement uh, was also inspired by Francis of Assisi mm -hmm. <laughs> because the foundress uh, Chiara Lubic uh, got her new name uh, mm -hmm. uh, from uh, from Claire uh, Chiara is is the Italian uh, word for Claire. Mm -hmm. uh, so Saint Claire of Assisi. Yeah, yeah. So I and then also the the the, the spirituality of the Focolare movement uh, uh, somehow uh, has also similarity with the with the spirituality of Francis of Assisi. Mm -hmm. So I I opted to stay there. Actually, I wanted I was already uh, uh, disposed to to be ready for everything, <laughs> mm -hmm. to be ready to go anywhere, uh, even to China, you know, for <laughs> to go for uh, missions mm -hmm. and uh, be available for, for the movement, for mm -hmm. the Pomalada movement. But then you came back to the, to the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Ar Archbishop Aniceto was then our Archbishop. Eh? He uh, talked to me mm -hmm. and he wanted me to come back mm -hmm. because we needed a spiritual director in, in the seminary. And so he said, uh, maybe you can uh, be the spiritual director of the theology department. Mm -hmm. So it was the reason why uh, 
I went back and I understood that to, to be ready to go anywhere meant uh, even to go back to the dice, to the Archdiocese of San Fernando. Mm -hmm. So that was the reason I, I went back to the Archdiocese. Tune in for the next episode of Mama's Boys featuring Most Reverend Roberto C. Maliari of the Diocese of San Jose, Nueva Ecija. There you have it, guys! Thank you for joining us in this episode of Mama's Boys. Hope to see you in our future episode. This has been your host, Karen Dane. Jamata Raishunen!